weird bubble. Welcome back to the bubble, ladies and gentlemen, and our Breland campaign on Divide and Conquer version 5. Um, I just took a brief check on our faction ranking, and for some reason my production has absolutely plummeted from almost 16,000 down to 4. That can't only be due to recruitment, right? Most likely it's also because of the mines or the merchant trades that for some reason went very far south from a couple of, from, yeah, actually from like six, seven thousand down to just a couple of hundred, which is weird. But yeah, so that's not a very good thing. But one thing that is good though, that we have started to give a lot of regions back. Uh, Gondor has gotten Thara Grondost and they will be getting Anulond uh, in the next turn. And we will just keep pushing our armies. We have at least three here and then of course we have one already Laying siege to Sereland. Uh, so we have a lot of armies that we're moving here through the Gondorian territory. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to give both of these ones back to Gondor in this, um, in this episode. Uh, we've also given a whole bunch of, re uh, of regions back to Rohan. Like Isenrun, Darwath and Gind, for example. You can see here on the map that... A lot of their regions has been given back. So now we need to march on Ginyard, Fangorn Camp, and whatever whatever other um, region holds this one. So Rohan can be linked up again and united between their pretty strong western side right now. And their little weaker, or quite a bit weaker, uh, capital region, Tirithanduin. Uh, right. Yes, We've already exhausted all of our movement points, and of course, they also got Isengard. So we will just end the turn right away. I don't think I will be doing that much, um, like manual moving, uh, reinforcing troops between the turns because that always takes quite a long time. So what I'm do, what I'm going to do is rather just. Um, move the main armies that I have, and then all of the other little squads and armies that are going to take like six, seven turns to get anywhere, I will just let them move on their own accord. Look at this. We have an army without... Two armies without... One army without a general, and we also have Parasur in this one. So I wonder if we could be strong enough to move with these armies. To help. Your orders, my lord. I don't think we might actually be able to take them on, but I'm just really scared of putting Your any lord, of my, yes, my, my generals lord, in the course uh, crosshairs like that. So I think what I'm going to do, this army yes, first of all, that will, that will lay siege to Fangorn camp and, and it's also open, so we should be able to take that really quickly. Yes. And with these ones, I think I'm going to lead uh, this army with a faction leader. Yes, my lord. And you will rather help out from the south. So if I put you here, yes, your and put you. No, damn, that's the wrong one. Honor. Thought I clicked there. Oh, we still draw them out. Okay. That's good enough. So this is going to be one very important battle if we take Ginyard. Then we can give that one back to Rohan and Fangorn Camp as well, obviously. But first, what we're going to do yes, is Lord. start moving Eula. Oh, damn, now they split up all of their armies. That will also make them much more susceptible to, um, My Lord. With honor, to be sniped, though. Yes, my lord. But we have our armies on the move, and now Anulond can be given to Faramir. Yes, my lord. It is good to see you, my friend. Very good to see you too. Anulond, still bankrupt. So just take this region as a gift and token of our friendship. Now let's just move our. Eyes a little bit more. We already know which regions these are. 
So now all of you can start more. Okay. Mordor is in a bunch of places. The, the Lamarov still holds that one though, so that's good. And start walking a little bit further south with you. You should rather keep going north. Take a look at these regions. That's just a fort. Right. We don't really need this spy at Longella anymore. Can you get in there? 70%. Worth, worth a shot, I think. And that didn't go that well. Okay, whatever. We're still on our way with our armies. Path blocked, recruitment report. Most of our units are just retrained. I'm not really putting a lot of money into recruiting new troops right now because I'd rather need to put all of that into something that gives me more money. There we go. Okay. Irrigation or cattle farming. Plus 75. And this would give more devastation, a little bit more corruption. Add some to the harvest, but not that much. And it would also give more recruitment slots, but we don't really... We need a lot of recruitment slots, but let's say that irrigation is good for pop you. I'm going with cattle farming on this one. It's really expensive though, but hopefully it's going to be worth it. You're upgrading and you can Karasnur Neled. Might as well go for sheep farming. Actually. If we do like this, can we build anything good here? No, not really. We still can't afford the port. Or the road. Let's just queue up the port, though. For now. Is there anything that I kind of got that I didn't need? I can abort this one. So then... I can't start building the port. That's good. Now we have 3.3 left. Trading plaza. There we go. Now we're making money, hopefully, or now we're going to make more money. A lot of buildings done. In Tharbat, you... Yeah, you started the communal farming. We will also need the Lord's Hall, obviously. But I think that's gonna have to wait after the communal farming. We need to focus more on money right now. On income. And Angsul, I got the militia garrison there because of... Um, because of the high corruption level. And hopefully that's going to change soon. You need more spies over on this side. A lot of moving and a lot of um, just high maintenance on moving all of my spies. There we go. You can go over here. And you should see... Okay, it should be some region here, I suppose. Okay, Rockburg, right. So that's the next Isengard settlement. I need to take these three, give them to Rohan, and then I think they will have joined. So first of all, we're going to uh, take Fangorn camp. I think that's a good place to start. We shall engage. Quick save and assault. Let's do this, and hopefully we'll do just fine. Only two units of wargs and a general with the Rukai bodyguards. No problem there, hopefully. I will use my catapults and the ballistas as much as possible. Obviously, I need them to take down the towers if there are any. Um, and then I can just have them launch everything they can at their uh, general. I really hope that the other battles are going to go well as well. Two pretty big Isengard forces that I'm going to fight. And they are strong, high armor uh, level and high defensive stats. And also, I think they are do a bit more damage or a little better at attack than we are as well. Oh, they have the machine gun towers. Then we really need to get them down first. Uh, can we get a more clear weather? No. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. All of our ranged troops... Right, Shinzen, right there. You can uh, place stakes. 
So you can just stand there and do that, just to have them deployed. You're at the front line. You lads. Can form a line in case they would start uh, to sally out. And all of you are the uh, armor penetrating boys. Then we have cavalry that we most likely won't need in this battle. Also, we have you. Good. Yes. But first of all, we need to make sure that we take down the towers. Not the towers! Aim for the trolls! You can stop shooting or firing at will right now because everyone's pulling back anyway. All of you on fire or use fire projectiles, please. The general is still on the wall. My catapult is not the most accurate one. Unfortunately. If they wouldn't be close to the towers, we can move up quite a bit. Have they even hit anything right now? There we go, that's one. And if we're able to get both towers down, that would be swell. Okay, maybe it might be worth it to move you up a smidge. At least so we can start seeing some percentages, maybe. Fifty-nine. Oh, we are not gonna be able to take that down. I don't think. Yes. That was the last one, but they dealt so much damage once they hit. The only problem is they never did. Okay, so there we go. Now it's the general up on the wall. They have they are effective against armor. So now I need to think. Uh, we might as well just send you in first, actually. So you can hold a line. Do some good stuff with that. Don't want to lose more units than I have to, but you might as well run in as well. Okay, and now they start pulling back. That's great, because what we're sending up are spears. So they should be very, very efficient against the Marauders. Sounds like their towers have come alive as well. And all of my archers can walk up and start shooting at the Urukai bodyguards. And kaboom. If we continue like this, we will smash Oof, the can just hear the fire that um, the towers are putting us through. I think this is going well so far. Farmhand pikemen should be very efficient against borg borgs. We lost 3% so far, killed 59-62. Yeah, we're absolutely slaughtering their wargs. Great stuff. Now we can stop coming, start coming up, and we can run in our archers as well, because now they only have all of their units at the square. So if we put the farmhand pikemen into position, and... All of you can just form some kind of a line here, I guess. There we go. And can I put you somewhere better? I think if I put you up here, theoretically, they should be too far away to actually activate the towers. And I would like to put you here. All of you start shooting at them. You can start shooting as well. You're pretty few, but you might as well start shooting. And 
Can we put you here instead, maybe? Try to get as good angles on them as possible. Okay, now their general started running. Interesting. Where to? I wonder. Where is it? Okay, there he is. And all of you can just march in and start shooting. Now, we would, however, get our archers to stop so we don't deal a lot of friendly fire. A lot of unnecessary friendly fire, that is. If you can run over there now. See which route you would take if you run around as well. Good. Now both of them will come in. Uh, come from behind on their troop. And the farmhand pikemen are dying, but I think they're also killing quite a few of the, of the Urukai bodyguards, actually. That's great. They're just poking them to death. One little tiny poke at a time. Let's see if we can get any armor penetration um, to come in before we actually just kill their bodyguard with farmhand pikemen. Damn, they are impressive, the farmhand pikemen. And soon we should be able to... Yeah, now we can merge them into one unit as well, depending on how many they heal, obviously. But now it's just a general left, I think. There we go. And that's a victory at Fangorn Camp. Lost 42 units. Uh, I think we healed a, a bit. Healed a few. Farmhand pikemen, 1714. So now we have uh, 93 and 88. So we will, they will be too many for us to merge, I think. I think they have like 152 or something. But Fangorn camp is one. 144 kills on the farmhand pikemen. It's the wargs, most likely. But they did a great job altogether. Very much... Um, Value for money there, because they're so cheap and so basic. But they have very long pikes, you know. So they really do hold the line quite well, and especially against cavalry. That's why they might be quite used to purchase. We don't really have any other pike units, except for the Tharbad um, guards. We have okay, sack the settlement. Our and honor have Destroy conquered. what we don't need. Brawler's Hall. Destroy. Practice range. I mean, these things, you can tell that they are gone, uh, that they are Rohan buildings. So we might just leave them, to be honest. Now. It would be nice to just give one this one up right away. But I think this army is too weak to take on Rockburg. I would rather send a whole bunch of reinforcements, uh, reinforcements their way. So I think we can take these units. Oh, we we'll actually retrain some, but the units that we have that don't, um, that don't have free upkeep, we might as well just send them uh, to the east. Yes, and you will be on your way as well. Oh right, Bregnas needed that for the. Um, for the public order, but 70 is good enough. And I think with the Traveler's Rest, they should be happier. And it's built in one turn, so that should be good. Dunyard, you're still waiting for the generals that we have moving. Orders. And I will have all of you march automatically Wait, down to on. Dunyard, and then I won't... Um, will, and then I won't... Micromanage you. Damn, that Orders. word was difficult to remember. Won't micromanage you. You, all of you, have the highest armor already. Thinking that you might be disbanded because you're a mercenary unit. You can go back into Tharban. Okay. So, our generals up here to the north. Your orders, my lord. First, you can go there. Just walk around this little region. And then have you start marching. South. Look at this, it's gonna take so many turns for them to get there. And once we can't afford it, uh, we will start moving these armies down as well. They're not that good, you know, so we don't necessarily need them, but it might be... Orders. Your will, my 
We just need all of our troops that we have paid for. There we go. Getting some units into free upkeep as well. We have a general there as well. Okay. I think this is going to have to be good for now. Now we have another battle to deal with. And you go down here. Actually, I can still just start sending you this way because I know it's going to take a while. Right, right, right. So what I'm going to do before the other... Okay, we don't have the movement points anyway. So let's just do deal with this, shall we? This army has a lot of artillery. And I think these guys, they do have a lot of heavy hitters. So hopefully we'll be able to do um, deal with this one just fine. Balance of power is just ever so slightly in our favor. We do outnumber them. But... We have some strong lads. Two units of crossbows, only two units of cavalry though. But I only have sworn riders in this one. And in this army, also a lot of Urukai raiders. Okay, not that strong. But the Orkman spear guard is strong, so is the Urukai infantry. Uruk reavers, they can, they can get shot down. Two units of cavalry and one unit of crossbows. I mean, worst case scenario, we save money. Let's go. <laughs> I mean, we have such a high uh, cost for army upkeep. It's like almost 70,000. So now I really need to focus on uh, getting more economic buildings for myself and also kind of make better use of all the troops that I have. This weather is optimal. And we can also move up to a small little hill right here. This army does not have enough... Um, enough range troops this is what we're going to do now all of you lads will be our line of troops all of you oh damn you can be in shield wall as well then and we can do it like this and I think I want the farmhand pikemen on flanks just in case they start sending um, the wargs our way. I have one catapult there, one catapult there. I think this is a perfect fit for them. And you can be in front so. Then we have very few troops um, or shock troops or whatever we want to call them. Maybe want the shields on the side. You right there. Some cavalry. And councilman parliament. Right. We have one unit that can put down stakes. And I think I want to put that one out. To the side here. Just to make sure that the flanks is uh, are as protected as possible. The journeyman. Will only be used to shoot from the sides. So no, none of you need to be at fire at will right now. You don't need to be at fire at will either. Then we can put our entire front line into guard mode. Now we can start. Good. I wonder if their army. Okay. I was going to say, I wonder if their army decides to uh, join up first before they attack us. But nope. They are coming right away. You are pretty low range. But you are very efficient. And you have decent range. So I can put you right there. Spread you out just a smidge. A steel bowman I can pull back. Good. Doing a lot of fire with our catapults. That's good. Wonder if there is anything I can focus on the most. We should focus on whatever has the heaviest uh, armor, I guess. And I'll have my allies start attacking. So hopefully they will start attacking as well. We can pull back just a little bit, actually. And we'll put our journeyman here. 
Right. You can start shooting at them. You start shooting at the crossbows. You are effective against armor, so you should also really start shooting at something with armor, I think. I would like to find some Urukai pikemen to aim for. Like, there. And you start shooting at the Urukai crossbows. Are you moving, or are you just standing put? Looks like you're actually moving, that's great. And now you need to start moving back. Really hope the catapults don't deal a whole shit ton of friendly fire as well. Orkman Spear Guard, you can aim for them, I guess. You, just keep, you keep focusing them. You can aim for them. And you are up on this side. Let's put you there. Fire at will. You... Fire at will as well. Since you're effective against armor, you should be able to do a lot of good work here. And hopefully without dealing too much friendly fire. Which we are some... Okay, no, we're just being shot by their archers. Okay. Okay. And Barleman. We can spread you out and pull you back, actually. So if you uh, get shot, you can... Um, soak up quite a bit of it. Oh, come on! Can't you get any better shots off than that? Start shooting at the spear guards. You can start shooting at them as well. Now, all of my ranged troops focus on their cavalry. And then I will ride my cavalry around and try to start, um... Shooting at their troops. You can stand there. And then maybe you can get some good shots off. Oh, now they turned. Shoot at the spear guard. And now... Now will they start coming in? No. Keep riding around with the sworn uh, horsemen. We've lost 1% killed 9, so it's pre still pretty even. But worth noting is of course that we are the attackers. So we really need to make sure that we um, take them out. Ballista can move over here. I think the journeymen are still doing a decent enough job at shooting them in the backs and whatnot. Do the Bane Guard. All of my archers can actually be moved over to this side now because that's where they are moving all of their troops. You still shooting at them. The Sworn Horsemen can come around and attack the Urukai archers. Do we have a captain here somewhere, or a general? Oh, yes. Doesn't look like the my catapults have been able to do any damage at all. Really. Where is their Bane Guard? Looks like that's the uh, captain. Cool beans, cool beans. Now. I need you to charge at the archers. And all of you can actually start moving forward. The catapults can stop shooting right now. And get into formation with the ballista. Stop shooting at will. Because we're rather going to need this army to help out with the other one. Stop shooting. Stop shooting. Like so. And I think our infantry should have no problem at all killing the um, killing their archers. They are shaken. And we get a charge off in the back of the crossbows as well, I wonder. 62. 
stop shooting. 55. So that was not really a good charge, but I think we, it, it was because we couldn't really align them in time. Okay, our ally is fighting. That's okay. Get into formation, please. And charge the archers. Taken. Oh, so close to break. Ing. And now the crossbows are broken. Good. We just need to make sure that we capture all of their routing troops. Good. Anything here that hasn't broken yet? Yes. The Urukai crossbows. Okay. You can run over and join these lads. And what we're going to need to do is, I think, move this entire army onto the next one and just hope that our ally will be able to do a good enough job with uh, the other army. You are so few running away. You capture them. And then we can start getting our army into formation for uh, the next one. The battle is you. very much in our favor. Good tight. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Get up here. And you get up as well. All of our archers start walking. And now they seem to come our way. That's awesome. Catapults. Start shooting at the raiders. You can start shooting at the raiders as well. You don't really need to do anything right now. Do we have spears here? Yes, we do. We need the front line to get up as fast as possible. And our archers are getting into position. Everyone's just getting into position. That's great. The Sworn Horseman. Where do I need you the most? Don't really know where I'm going to need them the most. I do know that I would like for my archers to be uh, to start firing at will right now, though. The ballista. What do I need you to start shooting at? Actually, I can think I can put all of my artillery on one flank, have them at fire at will, and all of you can march up and start shooting at the Urukai raiders. And in the meantime, you can start walking up to the front line. And all of you lads start pushing forward with our uh, with our lines. So far we lost 12%, killed 56. So we're doing quite well so far. But we need to move up all of our infantry. All of our archers. There we go. There we have a sworn horseman. Do we have any unit somewhere that's... Ready for a cycle charge. I don't really think so. These are works. If um, the Watchman Axe Guard ties any of these units up, then we can attack them from the back. Like so. There we go. And attack them. Archers. You are getting into position, that's great. Just need to find something for you to shoot at as well. Maybe we can have all of you start shooting at the raiders. Good, pull back. That was a decent charge, I think. But now I don't want you to get too much friendly fire from our archers. It's so... And... Can you start shooting at anything? Not really. Move you up just a smidge more. You can be in tight formation now as well. Okay, so move you up. Infantry. Keep moving you up. 
Looks like we're getting some really good shots off on their raiders. You Urukai crossbows. There we go. That's something we can start shooting at. And you... I have such a high risk to deal friendly fire if I start shooting. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Charge the Urukai infantry in the back. And now you can turn around again and start shooting at something else. Maybe the Uruk Raiders. Because I do absolutely think the farmhand pikemen will be able to deal with the Urukai crossbows quite efficiently. Right, now you march forward. So should you, where you can help somewhere. You pull back. Our men have slain there we go. Ooh, general. that's great. Him, Enemy general slain. And that was the actual general as well. Arsul. Now, Urukai archers. Yeah, you can charge them down. And Kaboosh. There you go. Pull back. And now we'll have these units march up and start helping them. Good. You. Okay. Actually, it looks like uh, we're doing quite a good job at taking them down so far. We also need to make sure that we capture all of the routing troops. We won't be able to catch the marauders, I don't think. So we can start going for the spear guard first. We can go a little bit faster now. Ooh! Very much in our favor. Victory will be ours. And go for the Urukai raiders. The enemy army flees the nice! Broke. We just need to make sure that we capture as many as possible. Go for the Reavers. They can go for the Urukai Infantry. Starting to get tired, I absolutely understand that. We didn't lose as many troops as I would have as I would have thought, actually. Which I'm very happy about, obviously. Happy camper, happy camper. And you write them down. There we go. Heal 10% as well. That's good. Or technically, I would say that we healed 50% because we healed kind of half of our troops. We lost 120. Our allies lost 375. But both of these armies are wiped out. That's awesome. Not very many survivors. The Westfold. Not a lot of friendly fire. I want to see what the catapults did. 71 10 and ballista 13. Wow, they were really not accurate in this battle at all. Hem, hem, hem. Our allies lost like 50, 60, 70 troops, something, 60 something in friendly fire, unfortunately. But they also killed a lot of units. Their best was the Greenway Riders, 153. Cell Source, 147, 139 on Merchant Infantry. That's cool. Our MVP was 190, the Sworn Horsemen. Yeah, go figures. Cool. Battle of the Westfold is won, and just like that, we should have another uh, Isengard region. We need to make sure that we uh, take the last ones, um, the last three at the same time, because otherwise we will have to fight an Isengard Doomstack, and I do not want to do that. From uh, execute all that. Unless they also take Onodith, obviously. So we can have them as kind of going before us and taking on Mordor. That could work. Parliament, you go in here, please. Sack that settlement. And destroy whatever. Oh, they have mines here. Cool stuff. Anything for us to destroy. Archery range. I think Rohan will be able to use that, actually. How much do I get for it? 1,000. Now, let's just leave it be. And then, now what we're going to do... Yes, my lord. Your will, my lord. ...will be... Your orders, my lord. I mean, we just need to keep marching, don't we? So far, we don't have... Um, more... We don't have any Isengard regions here. So what we need to do is move... 
these armies yes. towards uh, Rockburg. And you don't really need to... Okay, we can repair... You... Okay, what I'm going to do is move this army out. And then in this turn, we'll give Ginyard to Rohan. And then the next one, once we've repaired the gate, we'll give Fangorn camp to them. So. Uh, Ginyard. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. Yes. Very happy to hear that. Ginyard. And do we have... They're still bankrupt, and I don't think there's really anything... We can get out of them. So just doing some map information. Could we refuse? Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. Absolutely was for you. <laughs> Your orders, you didn't lord. get a garrison though. That's yes, weird. Yes, my really lord. should have gotten a garrison. Because now Gaza, Gazlag will be able to take it Your back. Orders, my lord. My lord. My lord speaks um, highly of you. Okay, whatever. That's done. I think yes, we are ready to Lord, end end this turn. Some armies that are going to move, but like I said, I won't be micromanaging that uh, each turn, but rather just let them walk. Because otherwise I'm going to have to wait for ever. Or you rather, you rather have to wait forever to watch me make those moves. So far I'm not at war with Mordor, but that's that Days coming like a freight train. Trust me on that one. There we go. We got some more units in here so that we can retrain them. That's good. And anything here to retrain? I know that we have few steel bowmen on their way. Can retrain them. That's awesome. End of turn report. Still making a little bit more profits, that's great. And we got a lot of good buildings finished. So in Dolvorn you got the port. Thinking either Great Roads or Merchant's Wharf. How much is this going to make me? Yes. Is the answer to that question. And Dunlarak, you got the Royal Hall. I think you can go with the Great Roads there as well. In Barcheleg. Fairground. Nokvarak Law. Maybe nothing for now. Wait, Karn Doom is... Oh, I almost thought, thought I saw an Angmarim flag. That would have been wrong. And Fangorn Camp. We are going to give that away, so we don't really need to care about that. Uh, Buzzer Doom. Nice, nice, nice. Michael, Michael Delving. I mean, it doesn't hurt to get the Dunedain armor here. Might as well. So there we go. Money spent. Recruitment report, just a whole bunch of retrained things. Great stuff, great stuff. Orders. Now you will keep marching. Yes. March to we have an yes, army here. Okay, they didn't take Ginyard. That's really great. They did take Onodrith, though. But I'm guessing that Mordor is going to reclaim that one quite rapidly. But all of you, just keep walking. My lord. By your command, we can go no further. Regnas, today. why are you so unhappy? Your will, my lord. Great. And the general is still on its way lord, from the last one. Lord. Now you keep walking. With honor. And yes, you keep walking. Yes. All of you will lay siege to Rockburg. Yes, my lord. With honor, my lord. And we'll also need to start yes, my lord. marching down here. Okay, if Mordor sees that I have a spy there, they're gonna get get pretty snappy with me. And is this right? That's an Isengard settlement. That's the Isengard capital, Entwade. Okay, so uh, they've actually taken quite a big chunk of the Mordor region here. That's good for us, because they can kind of... We can push them before us, and they can take Mordor regions, who we are not at war with yet. Yes, my lord. Which is great. Yes, my lord. Fangorn camp. This army should also march out. Elven warriors. And we give that region to 
Rohan. My lord, it is good to see you, my friend. How yes, good to see you too. Fangorn camp. Oh, they have meager wealth now. We an honor and a pleasure. Starting to claw themselves up into the world. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. Very, very good to hear. Orders, uh, maybe you should go for Onodrith instead, to be honest. Your will, my lord. And you will need to reinforce these units. <clears throat> good. Right, we also have all of these armies. You are still sieging Serelon, that's good. I want you over at Longalen. Place siege to that. And maintain that siege. And we need to reinforce that little yes, army. Lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. With honor. But good. Settle on. Still under siege, and with every siege, uh, with every turn, their garrison starves. So that's good for us, obviously. Now I'm thinking that we have a whole bunch of spies to. Oh, Dolamrox has reclaimed that one as well. That's great. Great job, Dolamrox. The only problem is that I don't think I'm allied to you. Tarnos, can you get into Tarnos? 64% chance, I don't think so. And any more spies over here? I thought I had several. You already moved. My lord. You go down here. That's still Dolamroth territory as well. Good. Looks like they've done a really great job. Approaching quietly. Now we need to see. Quietly. Okay. Warriors of Khan hold that one. But so we will absolutely need. Um, we will need an alliance and military access to Dolamroth uh, for us to be able to march through there. So is there anywhere where I can recruit myself another diplomat? Currently I don't think I can afford it though, but still. There we go. Diplomat. Yes. Good. Good, 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 good. And now we will end the turn again. I prefer this uh, way of playing, I think. Just let them walk the 12 uh, turns or whatever it is themselves not necessarily manually click the progression every single time because that takes such a long time to go through when you have like 15 stacks moving around small stacks and whatever here we go end of turn report right our profits decreased we can be upgraded, and so we shall, whenever we can, if, if we can afford that in the next time. Three, you got the irrigation. That's good. We don't lose any money here anyway. That's not making enough money, so it's not worth it. But it's good that you got the irrigation. Finger Thade. Uh, yes. The under towers, you got the leather worker. Might as well get the blacksmith as well once we're at it, right? Like that, we broke. I think this is good enough. Trading plaza is really good that you got that one. And Lond Angren. Actually, I want the trading plaza there. And we will get it eventually. And we can't afford it. All third, you got the trading post. Now we're going with a hunting camp. Then we should just get fairground, trader exchanger, all these nice economic ones. I think the great roads would be amazing to have here as well. Actually, recruitment. We only got the diplomat in Alkford. And that lad, Terry. Yes, my lord. You're going to go talk to Dolamros. Tomorrow's journey planned out. Your orders, my nice. My lord. Now you keep walking. You have five turns uh, siege. As you keep wish. walking. I don't think I'm going to need you at Serralond, actually. Um, might rather want you in... To help out with Long Gale. And we can just keep sieging with yes. both of them, actually. Eight turns. No. We will want to um, 
We will want to win this one in this episode. Yes, my lord. You one turn, and then you should be ready. And you will help out here at Sarelond. With honor orders. Yes, my lord. Well then maybe I will lead your orders, my lord. You can't move any troops over. Yes, my lord. And you have your siege equipment. So what we're going to do here. Yes, my lord. Your orders. Yes, my lord. Even though it might cost us quite a bit of troops. I'm going to attack with this one. Yes. And then you will have to be the one to kinda of carry the brunt of the battle. Your orders, my lord. That's what we're gonna do. As you command. Game save and as alt. Actually, I might just do this. You won't be uh, controlled by the AI. I think that's good enough, actually. And worth noting is that this is gonna take a while. It really can't take a while, though, obviously. We need to be quick and efficient with this. But since they have those uh, pesky towers... Yeah, it's gonna be... It's gonna cost us quite a lot of troops, but that's okay. Troops, we have. It is useless to meet revenge with revenge. It will heal nothing. Deep stuff, Frodo. Deep stuff. And could we get some better weather, you think? Good enough, I guess. Okay. Uh, what? Is that the ally? What? No, I will get reinforcements. This is just an ally friend, so I will have you uh, pause. And we'll use our artillery to only take down towers. And we'll use you to breach the gates. You won't be needed. I don't think I will use my uh, general either, actually. You can also hang out here in the back. And I think this is... We are as ready as we can be right now. We'll start the battle. How far, I wonder, can we move you up? Or uh, their towers start shooting at us. I think something like this will need to be good enough. You shoot at that tower, you can shoot at that one, you can shoot at that one, and you can aim for that one. And we got our allies over here as well. Oh, so unnecessary stuff. A lot of cavalry that I'm not gonna need, a general that I'm not gonna use. Two units of infantry though, so that's great. However, if I just tell you all to withdraw with a white flag, I would be getting new troops when you left the field. I don't know how that, uh, if that ne negatively affects, um, if they somehow move very far away or something like that. They shouldn't if we win the war, the battle, that is. That's good. That's an hour. Power down, right? Yeah. You can aim for that tower. Just need to make sure that we get all of them down. Okay. Maybe both of you actually should aim for that tower. Both of you can aim for that one. You don't have any uh, ammunition, so you can pull back. Might be more worth it to get that one, actually. If you're out of ammunition, run away. And that tower is down, that's great. You're out of ammunition, run away. Now we just have one left. Maybe just shoot at the crossbows. They have a lot of units on the wall, it seems. And... You could actually 
start moving, I think. You start moving up as well. You go for that piece of the wall. You can go for that one. And you can go for that one. Neither of you needs to be on the wall. Oh, now their their crossbows are going to absolutely pelt us. That's gonna hurt, obviously. But these things happen in war, and we've got even more archers now. So what I'm going to do is uh, send you lads away. And you can fight the clan spearmen. And you're going up on the wall, that's great. That tower is not optimal, though. That's obviously going to hurt us quite a bit with that tower that we didn't uh, get that one down in time. That's just gonna have to be okay, I guess. Getting even more troops onto the field now, that's great. Don't really know if we need this cavalry. Victory will be ours. We will have a whole bunch of archers, though. You run away. Journeyman. I think you will be needed. So much just... Brute force uh, fighting right now. Just throwing uh, numbers on, on the problem. But we obviously absolutely need to take this settlement... And we only have, um, we don't have that much time left. Right, as soon as you get through, keep running through. There we go. Got it. And we can go over here, maybe. Would obviously be nice if we managed to get as many... You... Both, all of you three run in as well and start shooting at the units at the square. Like so. You run in. You run in as well. If we continue like there we go. We will smash the Get up. You run up and attack here. You can attack the Bane Guard. You're obviously losing a lot of troops, but I'm just gonna have to be okay with that. Okay, looks like we're doing a decent job on that side. You can help out there. All of our archers are coming through. Journeyman right there. Fire at will. You right there. There. Fire at will. Do you have any archers here? Both of the gate keepers. Uh, neither of the gate keepers need to fire right now. You will be shooting at the bodyguard. I want all of my archers to shoot at the bodyguard as well, please. Okay, so if you journeyman, stand somewhere else entirely, then that would be great. They're coming forward, so run up with the um, Greenway Spearmen. There we go. And all of our archers, I think, are doing as good of a job as possible. You actually drop that ladder. I forgot that I had you on there. You stop shooting now. So can you. No, actually, you keep shooting at the Urukai bodyguards. You keep shooting at the Urukai bodyguards. <clears throat> great. Great, great. We have even more troops in here now. Can you rather help out with something up here on the walls, maybe? So if I put you here, and you can start shooting at them as well. Hey, 
losing a lot of infantry on the walls, but I'm just gonna have to be okay with that. You start shooting at the Urukai archers. I think your angle here should be absolutely impeccable. Don't have that much time left, unfortunately. All of our reinforcements, as soon as we have it, if we needs like to this, get over here. Smash the enemy. Both of the generals and the sworn horsemen can just hang out in the back. Actually thinking the horsemen can retreat well all, all together so I can get um, infantry back instead. Right, and you? Can you help out there, maybe? And all of you just need to run through. Oh, the, body, the bodyguards are actually dwindling quite hard. That's good. But this is, of course, going to be a massive grind. And we put you up here instead. I wonder. That would be great. You up here... If I can put you there without, um, without you being shot by the towers, that would be amazing. There we go. We got some more blade masters, and put them Only up on the close to the walls as well. This is not good at all. Complete waste, obviously, of troops. And you run through, please. You are running through. The bowmen are fighting, rather. Okay. Just run through. I think you're doing a good job, though. Right. Shoot at the Urukai Raiders from here. Great. You are being attacked by wargs, aren't you? Yes, you are. Interesting stuff. Fortunately enough, our reinforcements are on their way. Our men are in of the Lost 24% of our troops. That's not optimal, but... It works. You get in here on the square. Actually, looks like you're doing a good job there. Can you shoot at them, I wonder? All the orc defenders are coming up. If they're coming up on the wall, which I guess that they are going... You do. Our men no longer command the city. You shoot at them, you shoot at them. Of course the journeymen are going to get absolutely pummeled by uh, the towers. But that's gonna have to be okay. Right, and... I think that's going fine-ish. Try to push through, activate more of your troops. Now you attack them, you attack them. You can stand still. You have 12 troops left. Hot damn. All of you attack them. Do we have? Oh, we have some uh, melee troops here as well. Goody. Now, if we take the square and just hold it, we should be able to do this just fine. You are still shooting. That's good. As I think it works as though as if you have archers in guard mode, then they will still shoot even though they are engaged. So soon the tower should stop shooting. As soon as that orc is dead. Who is uh, one of the most freaking invincible orcs ever, obviously. Okay, we've killed the uh, bodyguard. That's good. You attack the uh, archers. You can come back from the wall. You can pull back because you're out of ammunition. So can you. What are you doing? Okay. That's good. You can run out. You lads can come down here. And all of you can keep shooting at them. I think that's good. You. And run down here, maybe? We have 11 minutes. But I mustn't forget that we absolutely need to kill the units that they have on the walls as well. So you can run down and attack them. 
you run over here where you will be able to help. Just really can't let the timer run out. Oh, they're actually broken. Interesting. And you are going to kill everything that's in your way as well. Come on. Shouldn't be much left there. Now it's just that little red dot. That's left. And then we will have won this battle. And that's awesome. Very, very happy about that. Even though we lost 33% of our troops. Quite a bit. The battle is very much much of that are towers, obviously. 34%. This is a clear victory. Healed 14% though, that's awesome. Lost 944 troops. But, I mean, the way I fought this battle, I just threw bodies at it, basically. We won though, so that's good. Settle on this ours and we can give it to Gondor. Uh, not that much friendly fire, fortunately enough. MVPs being 176 Greenway Spearman, 174 Watchman Sword Guard. Yeah, that's the best ones. But yeah, we lost a lot of troops. We didn't heal nearly as much as I would have thought. 20% lost though. That's good enough. Set alone is ours. Now we'll just um, join up the troops. And then we can keep pushing east. And hopefully we'll be able to get military access with Dol Amroth. So then we can keep pushing through. But Isengard is absolutely running out of settlements. Back it. Victory. Win, so, now I think Isengard, you have Rockburg, Onodrith, and Entwade left. Yes, and Mordor is going to take that one. So we rather need to go through... I think we need to go the northern side here. And then down to Enedwade, Ened, Enedwade yes. from, uh, the, from the north. And yeah. that, that's what we're going to do. Rohan is reinforcing Ginyard, that's awesome. So you Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. See, how do I want to do this? You move up anyway. You let's see to Rockburg. We shall engage. We shall prevail. And you move up as well. You're already on your way. Good. So hopefully they will let us siege them for quite some time. And how's it looking up here to the north? I think this is Dol Guldur territory. So far, I'm not at war with them, but I can put you on the um, on the bridge just to be a nuisance. My lord. Oh, not very strong reinforcing troops, but might need them anyway. Just keep going. And now, Sederlond. Oh, yes, my lord. Lost a lot of troops here. And merge up quite a few of them and then let's see what do we have here and do something like how many troops do I have room for four eight so if I'm doing oh actually we can merge up quite a few troops as well not that many we have so many different types of troops in this army. Your orders, my lord. Your will, my lord. If we just Yes, hmm. my lord. First Your of all, let's just lord. walk out with you. Yes, my lord. Yes. Your orders, my lord. And then we'll give Sarelon to Faramir. Yes, my lord. Always happy to deal with you, trusted friends. Sarelon, sorry. I do not believe oh, sorry. I forgot that I was supposed to give them, give it as a gift. Captain, oh, where is Faramir? I accept this. Well, that seemed fruitful. Fair where is Faramir? <laughs> Please don't die. Okay, let's just throw a whole bunch of troops from this army into uh, the other one, and then merge up what we can, I guess. Yes, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes. We just need more infantry in that army. 
Or do we need more siege in the other army? So we can do like this. And then throw you in there. And now you almost have room for this army. So if you just take the cavalry out first. Then we can join them. So now we have one complete army here. But then I'm thinking... Yes, my lord. That we should put uh, some of these this cavalry into the other armies. I think this is good enough for now. Don Galen, we're gonna take that one, no problem. Yes, my lord. And the cavalry, I guess, can just keep following. Making camp here. Yes. Good job. Now, Long Galen, we won't have time to do that siege, unfortunately, in this episode. But at least the Serelond belongs to Gondor now. You would Faramir the Fearless. Don't like it that you're walking around on your own, to be honest. But I'm happy you're alive. My now, I am yes, my lord. ready to yes, finish with this episode. I'm just going to end the turn real quick. Um, and in the same time, kind of contemplating my next moves i'm making more money now losing units um and uh, lowering the army upkeep obviously which is good i guess and um okay they actually sallied out interesting choice so what i'm going to do is just wrap up the episode here, save it up, and then we'll start the next episode with me, uh, with Brathor the Defender fighting against Rad Thak. You have a couple of archers, uh, some Bane Guards, some Urukai Raiders, but not really any high tier troops. I don't really have high tier troops either, though, but I will just use all of these to have some for some kind of a line, and then we'll just duke it out, really. You have 126 troops in this one. So the Bane Guard is going to be difficult to fight, obviously. A lot of armor and uh, effective against armor as well. So this is going to be, hopefully, be a fun, fruitful battle. Uh, where we will be taking a Rockberg. But that will be the next episode. So until then, have a great day and take care. And I will see you in the next episode. Bubble!